here with Rob Lowe. Now, Rob, you've had such a long and impressive acting career that it would be impossible to single out just one role, let alone just one scene. Impossible. But that's exactly what we've done. Let's go to the clip. That was Rob Lowe absolutely going to town on a saxophone. But the truth is this, Rob, you do not, in fact, play the saxophone, correct? I am fantastic at fake playing it, but I'm exactly, terrible. Which makes you terrible, the perfect person we player. need to sort out the players from the fakers in a game that we call Can They Play? <laughs> Can they play indeed? Let's meet our staffers who are playing tonight. Hey, staffers, how are we doing? Hey, James. Hey, James. Hi. Hey, Rob. Now, hey, Rob, Rob, as you can see, each staffer is holding a musical instrument. But, and this is the important part of this, Roblo, only three of them can actually play that instrument. Your task is to identify the three people who can't play. Now, don't guess right away. You can ask them questions first. Just know that they may not answer these questions truthfully. So, who do you want to go to first, Rob? Who, who piques your interest here? Well, I mean, come on. It's got to be Diane with mm. whatever the hell she's holding. <laughs> Hi. Good question. This... Diane, what are you holding there? This is a Cora, and it's a cross between a lute and a harp. It originated in uh, the West African country of Gambia, and it's prevalent in uh, Mali, Senegal, uh, Burkina Faso. Um, and I love it. It's, it's a gorgeous, handmade instrument. How long have you played this instrument, Diane? Well, I, I first uh, discovered this about 20 years ago, actually, when wow. I visited Nigeria with a friend of mine. This is not that prevalent in Nigeria, but my friend, uh, who has family there, she actually uh, has the instrument and she taught me how to play during my during my visit. Rob, any, any further questions for Diane? I think the witness is excused. I thought that was, uh, that was very um, convincing. Let's go to some other people and ask some questions here. Where else would you like to go? Um, let's go to Nate, who is either huge or he's holding the world's tiniest bongos i don't know what's going on is that a is that a set of bongos you've got there nate yes they are can i ask a question i don't i don't want this to seem rude nate who can't play the bongos that's a good question i've been playing since i was five so i guess everyone <laughs> i think everybody played the bongos at five didn't they it's Pretty sure you're right. Okay, Nate. Okay, okay. Anyone else you want to talk to here, Rob? Let's see what Roberta's got going on. What's your hunch? Anything you want to know here? I would, I would ask you. Do you know what what group did Ian Anderson play for? Oh, please, Jethro Tull, my favorite. I'm, I play almost every one of those songs. I love them. I will tell you, Rob, and it's a known thing at the Late Late Show that Roberta is a first-class liar. So, <laughs> like, that's that's. Or I should just let you know that because I know that what you just saw was, it felt so believable. Let's move on. Anyone else, Rob, that you like the look of here? I mean, what do you think? You know how you know these culprits. You know these characters. Well, let's go to Terence, who I have to say <laughs> looks like he's holding a tuba for the first time in his life. <laughs> hey, James. This Hi, is a tuba, right? This is a tuba? Yes, this is a contrabass tuba. Terence? Yes. Um, where do you like to woodshed? I don't know. Where do I like to woodshed? I don't. 
I don't, I don't know what's going on either. If you at home are confused, but Rob Lowe no, feels like he's laying were, some quite pesky seeds. If you were a real seeds. horn player, if you were a real horn player, you would understand the phrase wood shedding. I'm now I'm deeply suspicious. Let's go to Melvin. How are you, Melvin? Are you okay? I'm doing excellent. Great, great. Now talk us through what you've got in front of you here, Melvin. This here is a 82 key piano that I got from a woodshed. See, oh, Rob Lowe, do we believe him? I like the callback. He went for that. Um, is it is it is it any different than a synclavier? Uh, not at all. It's actually the same thing. Model two. Hmm. Let's go to Steve who looks like he should play guitar, walks around the place like he plays guitar, but has the rhythm and musicality of a, of a six-year-old. So who's your, uh, who's your influences, Steve? Uh, influences, I have so many, but um, I guess I'd have to go with the big one, Jimi Hendrix. He was probably my first, my, my first. James, how do we feel about him using such a blatantly obvious reference like Jimi Hendrix. Do we feel like... I don't know. That's... There's a few he could have gone for, but I do, I believe the Hendrix of it all. I see, look, he's even doing a move like he knows what he's doing. Yeah, I can't call it with Steve. He's got... Yeah. Steve's very similar to Roberta in that he is a known liar, and yeah. I will say thief. Um, right, it's, it's the moment of truth now, Rob. We have got to start paring this down. Who do you think can play their instrument? Well, like you said, who can't play the bongos? I gotta say Nate can play those, because anybody can play them, right? Am I wrong? Nate, can uh, you play the bongos? Hold on. I got, I got bigger oh. ones. Hang on a minute, it's percussion. It's full drums. <laughs> oh! Nate! Nate, that was so impressive. Wait, just wait there one minute. Sorry, Nate. Sorry, Rob. Hey, yeah, no, I just saw it. We can fire Guillermo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, just let him know or text him. Oh, that's Fine. funny. <laughs> All right. Nate, that was fantastic. Well done. All right, that's one down. Rob, what's your second pick? Who here do you think can play their instrument? I, I feel like Roberta feels like I could picture her in, in, in the high school orchestra playing that flute. Roberta, can you play the flute? <laughs> I told you, one? she is a phenomenal liar. You got Roberta, me. you even made me, when you held it with the thing, I was like, oh my God. All right, Rob, so you've got one right, one wrong. It's your final pick. Use it wisely. Who out of Terence, Diane, Steve, or Melvin do you think can play their instrument? I mean, you got to go with Diane at this point. I mean, the, the level, uh, the, spec the specificness, specificity, I, can't, I yep. can't say that word. You know what I'm talking about. Yes. Uh, the details with which you spoke of that um, were mind-blowing, and either you read it off Wikipedia or you can play the hell out of that thing. Diane, can you play the Cora? Wikipedia. Diane, that's terrible. Again, sensational confidence in the way that you were describing that. I am James, I am good at this game as I am playing the saxophone. Okay, well, let's see who else can play. Steve, can you play? Take it away. Oh, Steve, Woo! that was...
was incredible. Melvin, can you play Take It Away? Some real talent there. And finally, Terence, can you play? <laughs> Absolutely terrible. Well, terrible. Thank you, everybody, for playing. That was Can They Play? Guys, I would like you all, all six of you, to play us out to break, OK? <laughs> Take it away. We'll be right back with more of the Late Late Show.